Hey guys, the objective of this video is to do an example. As you can see, there's lots of steps. There's nine steps we're going to be going through. So um, this might this video might progress over the next couple uh, videos. Now here's our problem. We have a truss element. It's a pin joint, a pin joint. They're connected over there. Uh, this is three and three meters, four meters, and this is five meters in length. It's 0.1 by 0.1 meters. That would be the section type. And it's a steel, so we're dealing with E equals 200,000 MPa. Now, step one for this entire process is labeling the degrees of freedom correctly. So what is a degree of freedom? This might be a new concept. The degree of freedom is exactly what it sounds like. It is how free a, how free, um, a point is or how, how free something is. So, it, for example, when we're dealing with this type of element in this topic, we're looking at if it's free to move in the x and y direction and in the vertical direction. And degrees of freedom always occur at nodes. So that node, that node, and that node. A node's just like a point. As I say, for this type of element in this topic, it's just x and x and y. Uh, in the future topics, we're going to be dealing with all different things. We might have a degree of freedom like a moment. Okay, but we're not there just yet. The, the truss element for this element, we're looking at uh, left and right, x, up and down, y. Now, the important thing to do is how to label your degree of freedom. So that's what we're up to now, labeling the degrees of freedom. What you want to do is you want to label, and this, this uh, concept is going to go across all the different topics. It's a general concept. You want to label where it's actually free to move first, and then you come and label restraint points. So for example, this point here. This point, there's nothing restraining it left and right, and there's nothing restraining it up and down. And you always want to label horizontal first, generally. It doesn't That doesn't really matter, that point, but it's just uh, the general notation. So we're going to label that point 1 and that point 2. So instead of x and y, you actually um, assign numbers. So you've labeled 1, 2. Now every other point, that, that degree there is fixed, and that degree there is fixed, fixed and fixed, because the pin we know restrains in the x and y direction. So now I've labeled my free points first. Now I come and label my fixed points. And again, it doesn't really matter how I do this. I could go three, four, 